let's take some time and relax in the beautiful countryside. We, at the Tin Man Corporation, registered trademark, are now committed to returning those toxic wastelands that mankind devastated back to green and verdant park. Paradox Suite reconnected. Broadcast re-established. It was at this point I found myself alone with Mr. Sinclair Stan. He had just thrown Keris Davis out of the window and I wanted to know why. You threw out the window? Why? Come on. We don't have much time. Put this coat on. You threw out the window? And this hat. And no, I didn't throw her. I just pushed her. What's the difference? It took less effort. She goes out that side, makes a run for it. The Luddites chase after her, and then we go out the other side of the cabin and make a break for it unmolested. Okay, take my scarf. Right. Now you look less like a robot and more like... A flasher. Now what? We go out the other window. Come on, the distraction won't last long. I hate days like these. That's it, lass. We're keening on her. Bring the nets to bear. No, stop. Wait. Don't hurt me. I'm an archaeologist. Wait. Oh, an archaeologist, are you? How interesting. Leave the lady, lads. Get to your yaks and round up any other stragglers. I'll be bringing in this one myself. I don't think we should have left everybody behind, Mr. Star. I'll try not to think that. It was because of you not thinking that we ended up in this spectacular mess. I wouldn't have left them. Of course you wouldn't have. It's not in your programming. Like I said before, some of us have to make the hard choices. And you seem to be making them so easy. If we are going to get on, Robot, you'd better curb your sarcasm chip before I have it erased. i put my eye on you. I don't understand. Oh, you do. Something about this entire situation stinks. Yak! Yak? It's a yak! Going somewhere? Yes. If you don't mind, out of the way, please. I think not. Release the net! <laughs> Welcome to our humble little village. Beautiful, ain't she? I always love coming home from a night's patrol to see the sunrise in our own little paradise. This is fantastic. And you built all this yourselves? Aye, one hut at a time. It was hard work, but there's always space enough for another hut to be built. Okay. So, you're an archaeologist, you say? I'm what passes as an historian in these parts. I goes by the name of Weaver. I'm Keris. It'll be a pleasure to be making your acquaintance, I'm sure. Come on, let me give you the tour. Over here, and you'll like this, we have our inventors. All right. What is it you're making here? It's called the wheel. The wheel? Aren't they normally round? <laughs> I didn't tell you that. I'll tell you who. It was those totalitarian mechanised big brother cockchain and fascists. That's it. I could not hide one of your rhymed robot loving wheels in a Jeffy sister, but this sugar lumps is ours and manship. This is Miller. He's one of our greatest inventors, but can be a tad eccentric. Come on now, Miller. Keris here is our guest. Let's try and be a little bit civil. Please. I really am quite interested. I'm sure you are. Do you know what you strike me as, sweetheart? One of those weekend anarchists. Sure, you've got the dreadlocks and you wear the fashion, but you're not truly committed to the cause. You're just here for the cheap drugs, to shock your parents, and for the vague chance that the lead singer of some sludgy favourite ska band will pay attention to you flashing him your beacups. I'm not an anarchist. I'm an archaeologist. <laughs> Don't label me. Don't label me. Unless it's the label that I want to have. Is that the way you're running things, Goldilocks? Ah, anyway. As you can see here, this is our little workshop. Here we have some of my finest works. They're just sticks. Oh, oh no. Miller has created some very fine tools here. Look, see. This is a pointing stick. This is a hitting stick. And those larger ones are cudgels. And these are my favourites. Sure, Miller. An arrow. It's a twig. Can you not see the point again? I'll have your eyes out, sister. I don't know why you're doing all this. you got clubs, bows and arrows, but we've already invented all of this. Mankind has been using them since time began. The harpy's brainwashed! I think, my petal, it's time we started your re-education. Let go of my shirt. Get in there with the rest of the steel snake dwellers. You can't put me in there with them. They seem to have an uh, irrational dislike for me. Then you'll 
just have to stew until the general decides what to do. Robot, they don't seem to have noticed who or what you are yet. Just keep quiet and stick with me. Well, it seems our friends from the train have noticed you. Great. I want a word with you. This is just what I need. You abandoned us. Who? Me? Never. Listen, we're all friends here, right? Can I let you all into a little secret? They are still filming. And you are doing great. The audience loves you. They do. I am reality TV star. I'm not falling for that one again, buddy. I didn't think you would. Now, if... I still need new trousers. Yes. And you seem to have collected new stains. How wonderfully ripe of you. Now, as I was saying, we tried to restart the train to save you people. But it failed, and now we're all in the same boat together. I'm still not buying it. You know what? I'm gonna sue you. And I'll settle. Fine, then. Fine. Well, that went well. Ah, brand new day, and it's already gone to hell. No doubt I'll end up as somebody's supper. Mr Sinclair, Luddites don't eat people. 